Hello. In this video, I will be discussing how to scan a document with multiple pages. It could be a document with multiple double-sided pages or a document with multiple single-sided pages. It doesn't matter. It also doesn't matter if you have a flatbed scanner that scans one page at a time or a scanner with an automatic document feeder. If your scanner has a document feeder and it does duplex scanning, which means scanning both sides of the document at once, you can skip this video. It's not for you, but you can watch if you want to. Before we talk about the actual scanning process, let's begin by getting PhytoScan ready to scan multiple page documents. As with scanning a single page document, we need to go to the scan window. Let's do that now. On the scan window, click the scanner button. When the drop down menu is exposed, select continuous scanning. Enter the year of the document and click the OK button. The continuous scanning window appears with instructions on how to proceed. Let me describe doing this with both a flatbed scanner and one with an automatic document feeder. First, let's start with the flatbed scanner. Before clicking the scan button, place your document face down in the scanner and close the cover. If you think you can get away with not closing the cover, don't. Your resulting image will be lighter and more difficult to read. That's because the light from the scanner will be able to shine through the paper and not reflect back like it should. It needs to be as dark as possible in there. Okay, now that you have done the document in the, now that you have the document in the scanner and the cover is closed, click the scan button. The scan button will become disabled and scanning will begin. When the scan button becomes enabled again, you can remove your document from the scanner, insert the second page, or turn the existing page over on the other side close the scanner and click the scan button again. Repeat this process until all pages of your document have been scanned. And that's all there is to it. Now for the remainder of this video, instead of saying automatic document feeder, I'm going to use the letters ADF. It's much easier to say and it's an industry standard term. So now let's talk about scanning multiple page documents with a scanner that has an ADF. If you have a scanner with an ADF, you have a nice advantage. You can usually scan 25 or more pages without reloading it. Let's discuss two scenarios. You have a document that has two double-sided pages. Place the first page into the ADF and click the scan button. When it's complete, turn the document over place it into the ADF and scan the other side. Now do the same thing with the second page of the document. Now for the second scenario, you have a document that has 15 pages, but only page 10 is double-sided. So let's place pages one through nine into the ADF and click the scan button. When scanning has finished, place page 10 into the ADF by itself and scan it. When page 10 has been scanned, turn it over, place it into the ADF. Now scan it. When page 11 has been scanned, place page 12 through 15 into the ADF and click the scan button to finish scanning your document. Now as you can see we've got four documents scanned in, four pages of our document that is, and regardless of which type of scanner you've used, let's complete the process by clicking the Finish button. This will save your document and make it ready for indexing. If you would have clicked the Cancel button at any time during the scanning process, the images of your document would have been deleted. I hope this video has helped you understand scanning a multi-page document. If something was unclear or you have questions, please email us at support at phytoscan.com. We'll be glad to help. 
Now that you have scanning techniques under your belt, you may want to watch the video on indexing so that you begin fetching documents. Thank you and happy scanning.